Morning all. Uh, nice sunny Monday morning and I uh, hope everybody had a great weekend. So I'm in the uh, tilt tray for a week or two just while, uh, while the other fella has a uh, couple of weeks off. And um, anyway, we got this call last night and uh, it was driver Adrian and he says, hey listen, I'm still tied up on this job just had a police call and it's a rollover and they're saying we need a tray and uh, I said well that's all right I'll go down the, in the, uh, in the you know in the F truck and, and uh, I can tie most things with it you know how bad can it be so as you can see it wasn't great um, it's uh, actually rolled over and landed on a, on a property there and um, you can see where he sort of come in and uh, lost it he's tried to control it uh, but then he's come into contact with the tree and it's just sent him straight over. So uh, we decided, uh, I mean, whether I'd had the tray last night or not, I'd still be doing it today because there was too many variables. Uh, one, we didn't know if, you know, it was still hooked on the fence. Uh, you know, I couldn't access the property. And plus, you know, we, we just think it's polite to ask the property owner's permission to come onto their land rather than try and recover it from the road on a dangerous bend uh, in a 100k zone. Uh, this is the much safer option. So. Time to hook in and get into it, and let's get the job done. So, because of where it is, it's so close to the fence, I don't really want to re-roll it onto its roof, so I'm just gonna uh, put the tray up against the vehicle, and um, so I can put a couple of straps on top of the wheels that are up in the air, and uh, then I'm gonna use a, a slightly different technique to, um, to, to actually drag it away and then flip it up using the tray but using the winch to control control it when it goes down but I'm just going to put the tray up against the car while I'm attaching the uh, straps to the wheel so nothing goes on and it doesn't make any sudden movements and I don't slip off alright so I've managed to latch onto it and so what I've done I've got a chain underneath and then I've got the straps going over the vehicle and so what I'll do now is um, start pulling it away from the fence and then in theory, I've never tried this before, so this is a sort of new technique for me, but it was something I thought about when I rocked up. Uh, in theory, it should drag straight out. And then uh, we'll do a, uh, do a toss and catch. So we'll, let's see how it goes. And uh, I'm pretty confident it's gonna go all good, so. All right. Well, I'll just tighten this chain up a bit. Or the winch, rather. And we'll see if we can get it away here. So here we go. Now give me ample room to put it on its roof. I'm just going to go on a bit because when I flip it over, I'm just going to straighten it now. And that's actually pretty good. So that'll come down, that'll miss the fence. And that's good. All right, so I'll just readjust that chain and then we should be good to go. All right. Let's uh, get it back up on top.
It should be on its wheel about now. Yep. It's on its wheel. I might just suck that tray in. Whoops, wrong right way. Nearly at the point where I want it to be where the winch will take over. And there we go. So it's got the tipping point on it now. And that is going to come down just nicely. And I'm pretty happy with that, pretty happy with that. So now I can unchain, move forward a bit, drag it around, and then straight up onto the truck. improve my technique or improve my skills or you know see if I need any other equipment and so forth you know I'll, I'll take it and that was the prime opportunity you know it was in a paddock it was off the road um, uh, you know and, and it all worked I didn't have to worry about traffic or anything like that um, the other thing there'll be a few critics that uh, oh yeah you used the tow bar to pull it onto the truck and well yes I did use the tow bar and I didn't uh, I didn't use the exceed the limit of what the tow bar is used for uh, what it's not meant to be used for is snatching a car out of the mud when you take a 10 kilometer run up. That's what it's not made to do. So, uh, so it's loaded onto the truck and, um, and, uh, and I'm on my way back to the depot. But you know, this is, this is how we improve our skills. It's not just a matter of, oh, she'll be right, just flip it over and let it land on its wheels. There's a whole lot of variables. You know, what's gonna collapse and fly off potentially uh, when, you, when it crashes down onto the ground. Um, what is, uh, what is, uh, you know, who's standing around, um, is it going to, you know, what I was really scared of is that it was going to land on the fence, and um, uh, when it came down, that's what I was really worried about, and I didn't want that, because then that would have caused me all sorts of dramas, so, um, yeah, I chose to test out a new way, and it worked, and I'm happy with that. So uh, until then, I hope you guys had a good weekend. Hope you enjoyed watching the, the vid, and um, I'll see you guys uh, next time with the next one. And I hope you're all safe. See you later.